Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E C E O. And I'm here with the lovely official. Miss Jamaica, what's yeah. going on? Nothing, my dad. Walk, Say, walk. man, we got a special guest today, man. I feel like I've been off work a little bit. Yes, you have. Man, we've been, yeah. <laughs> Check <laughs> it, man. Say, man, we here, man. We got my boy, man. Mr. Terry Blue is in the building from what? Dallas Global. Dallas Global. Yes, man. Sir. Yes, sir. Say, man, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate y'all for having me. Say, man, so you, you've been in the game, see, along with enough. We fresh, see. Yeah. yeah, so we kind of move a little different, you know what I'm saying? We trying to figure this out, like, okay. You know, when I first put this together, my wife would tell you, I was like, man, I'm just going to do something where we can talk with our customers, and you know, and it just took off. Like, yeah. no, nah, this is going to do more than that. I, <laughs> a lot of people say because of the setup, you know what I mean? Like, the right. setup is dope, it's different, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So what what did you think when you first came on the scene? Uh, I'll say this dope. when I first seen it on YouTube, I like how it was set up. I said, Yeah, that's dope. Like, it's wow. a dope new podcast, you know? So yeah. I definitely was been tapped in. I've been watching. I looked at yours for years because of certain things that would go on, man. The Charleston White thing, I didn't look at. I didn't not, I even when Say Cheese was on here last, what week, week and a half ago, it was like, i like, When you the only two done interviews, Say Cheese said, Yeah. And he, and he said, No, no, uh, Dallas Global. That uh-huh. was the first one I seen him on. So he shot it, he shot at you out then okay. in a positive way. For sure, for sure. I ain't see that. I gotta tap in. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'll be I'll be I'm on it. And then I was like, you know, you're right. I, and then I still going back looking at it, you know, because I really just looked at the interviews that you have been doing, you know, when I first started look, looking you up after I started the research. You okay. do, you're doing a great job. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Y'all so got what? some dope uh guests on y'all podcast early. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> we ain't even asked for yeah. all this, bro. You yeah, know, y'all but lit. I thank God for it, man. For sure. Yeah. So what how did you get into this, man? Uh Actually, like my, my a couple of my homeboys was rapping, you know, and uh, I used to rap with them and shit and stuff too, you know. So I don't know okay. if y'all curse on me. We ain't tripping, you know. What I'm saying I used to rap with them and shit, and then it was just like I was like, bro, I'm gonna just promote the music because I was that's what I was doing anyway. And then I just noticed other people like they music promoted too. So I thought it cause your dad, uh, nah, big D mogul. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about my drunk uncle? <laughs> He told yeah. me he say, "That's my son." I said, "For real?" Nah. He was like, "Yeah, that's my son." I thought this dude was serious when he told nah, me that. You would have nah, had to nah. have him so young. I told him. I said, "Man, no," because I hadn't. I, I didn't really think about. It. I'm just because I'm. You know, he be coming with it. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> looks so serious. You might yeah, take yeah, him serious. Yeah, he was like, "That's my son." I'm like, "No, bro." Yeah, man. You know, he's but, just my drunk uncle. <laughs> you know? But now nah, my dad, my my dad actually he ain't really like music like that. Really? I used to listen to music all day. He used to really get on me about that. Like he ain't like it. Yeah, he used to be like, bro, he used to tell me rap was fake. Like, from a young age, he always told me everything in rap was fake. Yeah. And I ain't believe him until I actually started doing what I'm doing now. And I'm like, you <laughs> it know. It was fake. It's fake. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, what what was it that you th- you would say that your parents wanted you to be? Because you know how every parent be like, oh, you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. Did my mama ever- wanted me to be a lawyer. A lawyer? She wanted me to be a lawyer. But my pops really just let me do find my own way you know but he used to try to guide me like nah i don't do this nah you know but i found my way yeah what was the first job you ever had first job i ever had a warehouse job really warehouse yeah when did you realize that that wasn't it I, when i first started working I, I knew i couldn't work for nobody because i don't like getting told what to do mm. you know i don't like I don't like having to be on a schedule when you say I have to do this. I got it. I don't like that. It just be too much for me, like, cause it's like you not even abiding by the schedule you put me on, but I'm, <laughs> I'm watching you not abide by the schedule. Yeah, and I gotta abide by it. Nah. Were there any other entrepreneurs in your family? Uh, yeah, I, on both sides of my family is entrepreneurs. Like on my mom's side and my dad's side. Like my great grandpa, he owned washers and okay. bars and restaurants and stuff like that. So, so it's in your blood. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so Dallas Global, but he not from Dallas. Nah. So why that name? Man, when I, I shout out to uh, Jennifer. You know, it was a girl. She uh, she had a cipher in Dallas. It was called the Wave of Dallas, 
and she got a whole bunch of local artists to do ciphers, you know. And it was like it was real big. And I was just telling them, like, I'm going to start a blog. I'm going to start my own blog. And I was like, I'm going to just call it Dallas Global because I felt like people was just sleep on Dallas for some reason. Wow. Like, I felt like people would sleep on Dallas. And I was like, bro, it's a lot of stuff that go on. So I was like, I'm in Dallas, but it's global. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we global with it. So that's that's really how I started. And nobody liked the name. Nope. Nobody. Everybody's telling me to change the name. To this day, people still tell me, like, change the nah. name. That, I swear. That, that's a dope I, name. That's what I'm is. saying. Like, I was just like, that's how I felt. I was like, you know, I'm just stick it out. And, then he, and it's so crazy because I look you up on Instagram and there's so many pages that say Dallas Global. Yeah, and it, 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 it be fake. Like, a lot of people be have fake pages. Like, the Dallas Global 2 is not affiliated. It's not you? No, it's I'm not. Like, he put it up I in hit case they snatch him down. Nah, or bro, I hit him up and asked him, like, hey, can you ch at least change the name? He's like, no, whoever the page like i don't know but i, I don't want to say <laughs> raw one says this is the backup dallas page raw, dallas global raw is mine okay you know, that is mine but well, it's only dallas global tv and dallas global raw. i hit people okay. up for boss talk like it was one somebody at first they said no i was like you ain't used it in like years yeah the, I was like, uh, it's yeah. like nobody is on this page they was like no you can't have it this is our page man, yeah they be hating man I don't i'm like know what this it is. is crazy like bro just let them have it. yeah like you're not using it so what i felt like if we, we just work harder it don't matter. Or when people tag you, I always say, make sure you're tagging the right one. <laughs> yeah, nah, for sure. Everybody tag that as Global 2, I got to tell them. You know, yeah. Nah, don't do it because, bro, it'd be a lot of, it's a, celebrities be tagging Dallas Global 2 and it's not the right page. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, it's just bad. What would you say is your, like, biggest uh, interview? Uh, My Songs Walker interview. Okay. Okay. Was that early on? Nah, it wasn't. That happened last year. Really? Yeah. Well, and how what? long you been doing this? Uh, like three years. Three years. It happened last year. Last year, yeah. What made that one so? Uh, man, it's just a classic interview. If you watch it, he just really just he poured his heart out. Nah, he ain't poured his heart out. He just poured his game out. Like he, it's a lot of game in that interview. He just say how he feel and I'm gonna watch it. And and uh, man, people like I was on Clubhouse one day. I was in the uh, Clubhouse room with Sauce, and somebody was like, "Yeah, I was just watching your interview." And it was my interview, and I was like, "Damn, that's that's my interview." Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Yeah, you know what I'm saying." But yeah, it was just that's a lit ass interview for me. How did you get that interview? Uh, man, shout out to Big Ant, Urban Politician TV in Houston. Uh, man, I went down there. Nah, really, it was ATM, ATM Jorge, but Big Ant was ended up being at the studio. But uh, I linked up with a Dallas artist in Houston, and he was like, "Pull up," you know. We pulled up, chopped it up. And I seen Sauce, and I was like, bro, I'm not finna leave. And yeah, like, I <laughs> yeah, I was not finna interview him. You I'm know trying to get him on this time. show here in Dallas. Man, I for sure think Sauce will come do it. Yeah, because sure. yeah, like, we knew, and, and we rocking with a couple of people that he been rocking with. Yeah. You know, DeRoe was just here, and they got a song they just did together. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and DeRoe mm -hmm. invited oh, yeah, yeah, us yeah, to yeah, come yeah, on the set, that. and I, I, I don't be going nowhere, bro. But, but he was like, y'all to come pull up, and we, we doing the shoot. We're going to try to do a scene here and then in Houston. Okay, okay. So, That's dope. But I I don't know if they did it. I hadn't heard that I don't they think done it. They done it yet. He be in L.A. a lot, you oh, know. Duro, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, shout but, out to Duro. Yeah, too. shout out to Duro, man. He did a good interview too for me. I like that. I gotta check it out. Oh yeah, he, he good in. people, man. Like like I said, I I just love doing stuff for the city. You know, I, that was my whole thing with Don Chief and all those guys. I wanted to make sure if we was gonna do it, I'd be trying to do like like you, bit people who've been putting the work in. I respect. I'm like, I gotta get them on the show. That's how I look at it. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, is if y'all paid the way to me and it's a good, pleasant pave, yeah, I'm rocking with you. <laughs> and we don't so. just do rappers. We do as mental said, illness, mental Ill Ill illness. I mean, any topic that can help someone who is watching because mics are powerful. And there's so many people that are sitting at home behind their telephone or behind their TVs, whatever, and going through a situation where they're thinking about suicide, thinking about hurting somebody whatever and they could hear somebody pour their heart on our platform and realize they're not the only one who's going through that situation and this person here told them how to overcome it you know what i mean right think right, of right. suicide that little boy that kill, killed himself yeah who was that man little loaded that yeah. was crazy little loaded, man. What the I, hell? I don't i don't really know the full uh story behind it but Rest in peace, little loaded. Wow. He, he, he rocked with Dallas Global Heavy. So, oh, yo, so you did? You have interviewed? I don't. I didn't. You but didn't? every time I see him, he's so love. But he just, you know, just DM or repost some. He just really? showed us some love. Yeah, wow. man, yeah. So uh, that's a hard prayers up for EBK Sirac, man. It look like it's it's hitting them hard. You know, yeah, they yeah, young, yeah, yeah, yeah. They young. young. So man, I just man, couldn't he's... believe it when I heard it when when you told me about it. 
Yeah, these young kids, man, they going through just like we we had this one mother that she's supposed to come on the show who her son was killed on accident. So those type of things, you'd be like wishing you could step in and be able to interview them or talk to them before. That's what I, I be thinking about. This platform for me is a place of healing and talking to people about things that maybe it could change the outcome. Oh, for sure. And bringing awareness because yeah. even like whenever I spoke to Charleston White when he came on here, I asked him one question because when I think about don't give that up. I I I, I remember I hadn't put that video. Oh, that you, oh, I'm sorry, I <laughs> forgot you didn't put that part. Out. No, <laughs> oh, 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 he's got me never, right in the chat. I he's never like, put that interview oh, out. Oh, okay, I got interviews okay. in. I don't put. I I, I got. I got do do I got, you have interviews bro, like that? Bro, that you just decide I'm not gonna put it out. Bro, it's a lot of news. I'm like that. It's a lot of news that I could have broke that I just don't Del break. Yeah. So just what, because. what is, what, okay, when are you going to put it out and him what, or no, me? Him. Okay. As in like, what, what are you waiting on? Meaning like, are you Man, waiting on honest, something to happen before you put it out or how does that work? I don't be waiting, but sometimes it depends on the kind of content. Like sometimes I'll shoot and I'll be like, if I put it out right now, I know it's not going to do what it's supposed That's to do. That's right. Be. You know what I'm saying? But if I wait, you know what I'm saying? Now is a good time for me to put out this yeah, content. Yeah, I'm but what is the right time though? What are it you just, looking it's for? It just, it just things. Life, life just life. happens how it happens. You know, and life plays out. I like, agree with that. For like, life just happens how it happens. <laughs> exactly. You know, so I got a video right now out. It's going viral, and I like. I didn't think it would go viral like that, but it it really went viral. I've seen this video everywhere. And that video, how long were you holding on to it I before hold, you put it? I held it, on? it for a day. Just for a day. Okay. One day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you feel like, okay, I want to see But it. it went viral. Like, it's, it's everywhere right but now. But you, you didn't realize it that with? it was going to go. Which one is it? Man, about the promoter and Asian Doll. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It went viral. It went viral. Like, it's everywhere. Like, it's everywhere. That, I've seen that video. People are sending me the video. I'm like, damn. Like, it's, that's good. That's what you do this I mean, for. It, it is, but it's, it's like... I don't know, bro. People, I think people need to start crediting the platforms more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like like we need that credit. Like, especially if you go use my, you know, if you, if you you get a million views on my on my clip, but at, at least tag me, please. I think I think <laughs> I think it's something that God got something for you, brother. I think so. And, too. and, and when he, he got it for you, can't nobody touch it no way. I agree. So don't you even don't frustrate the grace. It's all good. For sure. It's gonna happen anyway. You're, you, you've you done things that people will never do. You're a brother that done touched hearts and done things that nobody won't be able to do. So I think that's something you got to, you got to, man, You it's different. You just got to embrace that, man. For sure. Does that make sense to nah, you? Nah, it do, it do. <laughs> man, somebody just told me when I was in Atlanta I was the chosen one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, like don't, don't, man, don't even pay, don't even sweat the small stuff. Yeah, it's small. Because you're just so much bigger than all the small stuff around you. And we want to see that great thing that's going to mm -hmm, happen anyway. Mm -hmm. Bigger things are going to happen. For sure. So that's what we waiting on, you know? But then also, you have your tag behind the um, the person when he, when you're talking to them, right? What you mean? Like, yeah, his, his uh, like, we got Unique Hustle, you guys. Oh, yeah, y'all got my banner. Like, your banner yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So even although they, don't, they might not tag you or people still know it's you. Sometimes not. not sometimes time, you don't get though. to. Sometimes it might not be there. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the banner. I know you. Yeah. I knew. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes I, you know, but it's not, like you say, bro. Like, God it, got at the end of the day, like take it. people know what's going on. Like but at the end of the day, sometimes you you do. I'm human. You yeah, know? yeah. You get caught like, up. Man, yeah, like come on now. Give them a credit, especially, man. Yeah, like, especially when people just try to criticize everything you do. So like yeah. every little accolade kind of matters for real. But he's romantic. Why you say that? With, with with your stuff, that you you love what you do, Facts. and so you you know some people they're not romantic. Some people just do something they don't care, but you care. Right. So that's what I mean when I say okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, but but it's definitely it's dope to see how everything's playing out in Dallas. You know, in the way it, with the Mo three thing and all the stuff that happened with all of that, centralizing the surrounding that. You know, people like you, you help bridge gaps and bring things together. And that's what I look at. People like me, that's that's why we're here. Like we we could we could throw dirt in everything. Like you say, I don't put this out or I might put that out. But at the end of the day, you should you strategically doing what you do. Right. Right? 
I try to be. Yeah. You know, I mean, sometimes it gets a little it's, tough. It's, you know, yeah, people love controversy. Yeah, people love controversy. And I'm not the only person that posts on my platform. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff. How many people post on your platform? Got like three people. Three posting. people? We looking for more. Really? You know? Y'all going to push that thing? Yeah, we looking for more. But it, it's it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to find get people reliable to trust. people. Yeah, it's, sure. and it's been three years, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a long time. So I see I, that makes sense. So, you know. But yeah. how big of a team do you want? Oh uh, man, like to where we going? Like oh, we, we growing? Like you want to do it outside of Texas, right? Yeah, I want to be out. I'm, we global, you know. What That's I'm saying? right. So, so you basically are you going to still say Dallas global when you got somebody in the other states? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I you don't see know. what I'm saying? I really didn't get that I far. Think he still keep it. I because think he can you think still about keep what it. I'm saying, you 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 could have people that work for you in other states, right? Um, I I know talking with. Well, I mean, I should say that, but certain times you don't have to be where the interview is going on. I just say it like that. Right, right, right. Your, your audio can be there. You can have a setup, and you're not even there. Right, right, right. So it don't really matter about. And then we in a day and age where, like, you, technology, like how you say, you yeah. can really you be can anywhere, do a lot do of different anywhere, stuff, anywhere, man. Anywhere, like, yeah, you know, I can yeah. be doing another interview right now. While exactly. I'm doing this one. You know? Exactly. So you definitely right, but it's just when it come down to names and stuff like that, it just it. I don't know. You got to get it I think it he should out. keep it at Dallas okay. Global because could, you can, Dallas can be anywhere. It. I think so too. That's it. I but, it. but but I see I, I mean, got some stuff coming think man. Think about it. it. Dallas Global, uh, uh New Orleans Global, uh, uh it's you. Yeah, all loving me. That's okay, what I'm saying. Okay, so, so you don't can, have to you can have to, That's why I say cuz I, I got some stuff in the works, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like how I built Dallas Global, I could build something There else, you go. You know that's all I'm saying. It's and you good. just you just made me think of when you said you got other people that's posting, and if they're in other states, this thing could go fast if you really look at it from a bigger perspective. You're right. That's what I'm thinking. You're right. And it don't matter which state it takes off in, I can create. Cause, it's a whole new market. Cause I, cause, and, I, and I can help that station by being connected to it because right. it's mine. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's just things. Because when I talked to certain guys, I had rap talk. Okay. There's some guys. Some guys came to me with like they want to do a uh, rap talk one on one. Okay. I'm like, that's cool. And they want no. And these <laughs> want no. These are people who have millions of followers already. Okay. And they wanted to. Man, so how you getting to the to the? What made you want to do the podcast? Um, I'm just a person who like to talk anyway, so it's cool. Just something <laughs> that's popping. Anything that's popping, I'm popping with it. That's all it is. I feel it. Yeah. Listen. That's awesome. crazy, right? Yeah, like that's I how you gotta stay relevant, awesome. though. So yeah. I just, I, I, when I when the dope was selling, I was out there selling. <laughs> when it changed, I flipped. I feel you it. know, it's just times change. You gotta stay, it, man. How yeah. important do you think it is to stay updated with the time? Very. I think it's very important. Else, you'll lose. I mean, I'm an engineer too, so you gotta think about it. If we we done a thing where used to it was with copper or twisted pair in the technology of communication, then it changed the fiber optics, and a lot of the old guys weren't able to transfer into the new technology of fiber optics and data transmission. Right. So it's just you got to be able to change with the times. Just like you see in rappers, you see older rappers, and when technology came where they weren't passing out CDs and all of that anymore, it's and they, everything lot. everything has to do with internet and being promoted. It's, it's a lot it's of hard. old people that don't know how to use the internet, seriously. Exactly. exactly. Think about it, it, it and, and you have to step up. You have to, and, and it's not just in that, it's a lot of people that can't transition when time changes. Facts. Right? Facts. Even so, when it, yeah, yeah. What do you what so what well, who who do, who would you like to interview? Like I was going to ask me, you that too. Who I want to interview? Oh yeah, you right now. you cover my style. <laughs> <laughs> who would you like to? Like like uh, would be your your biggest interview this far. You know like somebody you you like man, I'd love to interview him. Right now probably like Kodak, but Kodak. He one of my favorite rappers. You like generation. Kodak? Yeah, yeah. I like him too. I I I like the way he he just free. He's yeah. a free spirit. He just do what he feels. He do what he want to do. Uh, I like yeah. that. No, nah, for sure. And I, I mean, yeah, I just like how Kodak moved. Well, I, I was liking how he moved <laughs> until you know he went to jail and shit. Bro. I mean, people go through it. People brother. go through it, but you know, he just come back. I feel like Kodak come back harder every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he got pardoned this last time, right? He got pardoned. So he should be good now. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. What's What's the? Uh, I heard you mention in one of your interviews, um, which I think it was Street. You mentioned about. Um, Real, li- Real life street yeah. stars. 
that your um, site went down and you lost. Which site was that? Was that uh, this your... is my third page? I lost the page again. Instagram after was it? Instagram. My third Instagram oh, page. Okay. Why yeah. do you think? How do you lose it? Man, people report. People be uh, sometimes. They known you. I think so, bro. Now at this point, yeah, because a lot of people Instagram has been coming down. But uh, do do they contact? As yeah, in they, Instagram, like, they Instagram, call? Instagram, Instagram is like this they has been reported. A, okay. We deleted this. Like I've been disputing them as of lately, but. But posting signed artist music too, that'll get you with signed artist music, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any I get mainstream, you get yeah, you can't you can't do that. They they'll delete it. Really? If you get too many of them, they will delete it. They will take it down. Take your whole page. Take it down. Take it down. So but, what do you do? Man, I uh, this girl actually just gave me the the guidelines to get one Mine's of my Instagram old. pages back. Like this is old stuff I posted years yeah, ago. They go come back. They and keep get bringing you. it up. You gotta go dispute it. Just go tell them I don't have the rights, or just delete it. I just be deleting them. Yeah, yeah. I but guess I'll start doing that. You got to. So they can delete your page for that old of a stuff. Yes. If you don't own the content when you post it, okay. They, but let me ask you a question. What's suppose if when you interview the person, the person um, wasn't signed, but then all of a sudden they're signed now? Uh, they will still take if the, if the label own that music now. If they the, the label own the publisher of that music, they will take it down. But that sucks really? because then that was done down. before you even got signed. They will take it down. Like they would, they they go take some down. So, you know, what, how do we win? And this is your third time. Ain't just yeah, don't that, stay that, away from that, posting that, it. That's, that's the Dallas best way Global, to win. though. Yeah, Terry that's your Blue. third time. Terry yeah, Blue, nah, you yeah, ain't got to worry about this about you, baby. It don't matter. <laughs> we gonna, we up. They can't <laughs> stop us, real. Man, yeah, like, see me, I just feel like I can't be stopped. Like That's the way you, know you know better feel it's because you, like, you, the man, you the man with the plan. You the man with the plan. You behind it. Yeah, for so sure. So you, you just make another page. Let's go. Yeah, but I ain't trying to do that no more. <laughs> I ain't trying to do that. That's no. what I work at it. Not, man, it is. It is. A like, lot of people buy their views, man. Man, nah, I don't do that. You though. know I'm telling the truth. I don't do that though, bro. Have you ever had somebody bought their blues it's, views and came on your show and you like, damn? They, nah, nah. But I heard about that. <laughs> I heard about that. Somebody had did an interview and they paid for their views and dude was pissed because he like, man, I ain't making. <laughs> all these views. Exactly. And it makes the page just look bad. Bad. Like, it just don't do that. No, I'm telling you, people do it. They need you, and I found out you don't even have to be the one to do it. Somebody else could post it on ads and all kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm serious. I know, I know about that. I know, but I didn't know about this stuff. I just barely got in. <laughs> Something like these niggas yeah, tripping. Like, it's just who you deal with. Like you, but you gotta look at the rappers though. When you look at they stuff, and you be like, man, this ain't got fake followers. You know, like, hey, bro, yeah. don't, don't do that on my page. You know what you I'm saying? Yeah, you told them, nah, man, don't do nah, that. Nah, hell nah, don't do that. Have you got into it with artists? Like, dang, man. Oh, no fake views? Nah. No, just period. Over. Yeah, well, you got into it, like, hell. doing an interview? Not doing no interview. Not in person. Oh, they get mad because you don't post their stuff? Yeah, I, whenever I had an altercation with an artist, it'd be via internet. Every time. Have you had somebody to get in your DM and be like, why you ain't post mine or yeah. why you don't? We tripped out. I didn't know this was going on. Our DM is lit when it come down to stuff like that. That why y'all ain't post this? Like why we don't rock with them? Or why why we why I wasn't on the list? I don't know about the damn list. <laughs> like my Trill Talk made the list. And, yeah. and it just so happened he, he knows me. You know, he's been on the show. You know, yeah. it's a couple of y'all. It's like if you do a list and you're going to hit me like, eh, I don't care. Nah, yeah, it's sure. not my list anyway. But if it was, I wouldn't have put everybody, you on it. Everybody trying to make list. You wouldn't have put me on it. Not you. I'm uh, saying I'm the like, person who I know, I know, hit me up in the, in the deal. I'm like, nigga, why you, nigga? I didn't see you. There's reason behind <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> nah, yeah, bro. Them lists. Be you did a mad. list before. Yeah, we make the best list. Come on, man. <laughs> nigga, do the list. <laughs> Come on, we man. got the list. Now your boy D, he did a, 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 a gatekeeper, gatekeeper list. list. And yeah, I ain't. Gonna what lie. list did you do? Did you like? Did you like we his list? Collaborated on the list. Oh, you did both the of y'all. The first and the second. Okay. You t oh, you helped him with the list. Yeah. Let's talk about the list for a minute. Let's bring the first one up first. I want to talk. Okay, who was on the first list? We had hit that DJ. Duffy. What was hit that on there for? Cause hit that gatekeeper. You think he number one gatekeeper? No, he wasn't number one. Who was number one then? Jay Prince. Okay. Jay Prince okay. was number one. And with Jay, Jay Prince, Prince number being one. number one, that makes sense to me. Who was yeah. number two? Cotton. Okay. No, no, baby. 
Bay Bay was number two. Bay Bay was number two. Then Sean Connery. What make you think Bay Bay is, is on man, the list? at the time, man? First of all, what is the damn gatekeeper list? You gotta ask me. I can't speak on the list because he ain't here to. Uh, you okay, know. you helped him with it though. I did. I'm just so I'm trying you. to figure out what is this list. Is, I'm gonna bring him on the show. Yeah. You know me and him. We rock. Bring I rock him. with him. For sure. I'm gonna bring both of y'all. I want to know about why y'all made this gatekeeper. Man, see the gate. The second gatekeeper. Sean Connery say he don't know what the hell that is. I asked <laughs> him. <laughs> hey, gatekeeper is that's big. You see, he got the gear now. He got the whole gate. Gatekeeper <laughs> clothing line. line now, man. So you know? b- basic. That's yeah. not. That's a smart idea. I like it. Yeah, it's dope though. So I, I, okay, because because Sean say I don't know what that is. I say yeah, well, <laughs> I say, your name is on it. What's up with it? I want to know how how do you get on that list like that? He said he don't know, and he don't think that he should have been put over. He don't want to be over Jay Press. <laughs> man, yeah, man. My, my partner <laughs> called me about that, man. It was funny, man. So who was on? Mostly everybody was on the gatekeeper list. The first one was on the second one? Nah. Who got bumped who? off? Yeah, I was about to say who bumped. <laughs> you got to go look at both the lists, man. Where are the lists at, dog? You got to go look phone. at both the lists. Right, give me, let me see I the list, bro. I don't even know where the, uh... Bro, that first one, I don't know where it said. I know the second one. I'm gonna find the first one for you though. Cause I remember it when it was being talked yeah, about. Yeah, you can look it up. So, okay. It up. Hashtag gatekeeper list. <laughs> you niggas got a hashtag. Gatekeeper. And y'all the only one came out with that. Boy, you niggas in Dallas something else, man. I ain't never <laughs> seen nothing in my life. Like, get, you really? <laughs> Niggas, it don't say them. It don't have Dallas to just get kicked. You find it? Uh, no, nah, I'm I'm finna. I'm coming up on it. Yeah, them boys got them gatekeeper lists, boy. Man, but see, really, my my list, my most viral list, be them artist list. Oh yeah, they that'll get you in trouble. You know right what I'm there. saying? Like we didn't did That's all controversy. our lists. Me, me and BZ TV, shout out to BZ TV. BZ TV, shout out. I don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. To B, we we come up with the. I feel like our list be like it be shaking stuff up, man. You know, like do. What's the purpose of doing the list? So that it's you can really bring just, no. uh, visuals. Uh, uh, no, uh, it's, no. So that you could bring uh, 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 value to these artists. Yeah, it's like it's like really when we do lists, it be like to just champion these artists. We see y'all yeah. working like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all putting on this is the main artist that's putting on for the city outside of the city. You know okay. what I'm saying? These are our biggest artists, and we want to or the ones who haven't made it out the city. This is who y'all need to know because they are making noise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's what our list. And, really and did anybody call you and say I don't agree with your list? Your Man, list up all the time, but they be going <laughs> up though. They but be, see, see, they put us on the list. Uh, trio talk them yeah. did, and and I'm my, in my mind I seen this list. Uh, I remember it. Yeah, that 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 one was that one. Was oh, me. BC on the list, but he wasn't on the second one, was he? Mm-mm. Damn, <laughs> he got bumped off. Why was he bumped off? Duffy know. was bumped off the second one. Jazz Prince was bumped off the second one too. Because we want to know why, so that um, people and know Sauce what Marco. they need to keep was doing to nah, stay Sauce on, on the second he was on list. The second. Sauce on the second list. Baby was on the second list too, but he was he dropped down. I don't remember. I really, honestly, don't remember the second list like that. I remember Mr. Hit that got a damn suit on on this list. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Hit that with this damn suit on, like he really. Boy, if you don't get this suit off, hit that look wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> No, but but no, I get it. Um, so, what make you? What made Sean Cotton jump up on the list? Do you know? Man, BD wanted to put him first on the list on he, this list. Well, I, I on this list, I, and know, I was arguing. I know with him, like, why. No, bro. I know why though, because they they got a relationship. And, but say cheese but, is a huge platform. But, but Don't say get me cheese wrong. and say cheese for the new generation. It's putting them on. He not only putting them on, but he's making a lot of business moves. So I get it, but Jay Prince is a patriarch, as I've already said. I told Big D that when he was here. When Big he was D, here. I mean, uh, Jay Prince is like the machine. Like yeah, the Jay music Prince is the patriarch. Machine. Like he, without him, South wouldn't even have the music like that. Facts. He influenced the whole South. That's a fact. Master P, they look <laughs> up to this nigga. <laughs> yeah, I love Jay Prince in Texas, though. I ain't a lot. No, no, no. Master P loved Jay Prince. Yeah. He said that he helped him. He wanted to be like Jay Prince. So you got to think about that. That's heavy because Master P was big. You know what I mean? Huge. Still huge. What I'm saying is so when you look at the South and the way that thing played out, 
Jay Prince can't be put on no list and put somebody over him if you look from the music standpoint. But it's other. I don't know what you guys are. Man, that's gauging it. See, when, when when we made that first list, that's what I was saying. I was like, bro, like it's Jay Prince, bro. Come on now. Yeah, it's Jay Prince. But yeah. say Cheese definitely is a you know. Nah, that boy beast when yeah, he come yeah, down he to cold. what he like, do. He he the you know blueprint yeah. of the blogging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Did you? So is that who influenced you to get into it? Uh, not really, but I did watch him early. Who on. influenced you? Nobody influenced me. You can't just start something. Somebody, you <laughs> Bro, seen no, something? No, I watched Sean Cotton. Don't get me wrong. Okay. When I first seen Say Cheese, I was like, it was dope because he was interviewing like local people that I knew. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the mm-hmm. hell? You know, like what are you doing? You know, but I said that was a dope idea. But Say Cheese was like, I seen it. You know how he did. I definitely modeled some of my shit behind him. But he didn't, I didn't do it because of Say Cheese. I really did it because we was rapping. I said, hey, bro, I'll just start my own platform. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? I'll just start my well, own. Well, you're doing a good job. Let me ask you this. Who's your top three artists of all time? Because, you know, we asked that top on every show. Top three artists of all time. That are alive. Are alive. Any genre. Any genre. Mm. Lil Wayne's. That's like, your number one? I say, for me, my generation, Lil Wayne, my favorite Lil, rapper. Lil Wayne. Was my favorite rapper, yeah. No, 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 no. Was. It, I don't listen to Wayne as much as I used to. I still listen to him, but you know, but that's number, number one. one. That's yeah. Okay, sure. and who? Cause he's from Louisiana. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Uh, man. just my personal favorite. Yeah, this show. Okay, all three. right. Well, currency, uh, currency, currency right behind. He dope. Who, yeah, who we listen. have for number three? Uh, any genre. Any it doesn't genre. have to be rap. It can be rap if that's yeah, what you I, like. I, I like rap. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> try to get she Jamaica, man. Don't, like don't fall for it, bro. Uh, man, I don't know. That third one be getting them, don't it? Mm-hmm. I really don't know. Hey, we talking about right now who I'm listening to? Money bag, yo. A money bag. That, uh, he's nice. I like <laughs> I'm money bag. Money bag, yo. Right now, like. But I like you know me. I'm I'm a uh, yeah money bag, yo fly, uh, mm-hmm. Gucci man. Uh, the old Gucci, not the new Gucci. Yeah. I mean, the way, you know who I like a lot that I've been thinking about here lately? Webby, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. I think these niggas sleeping Webby on Webby. My favorite. Let me my tell you favorite. something. Webby go hard, nigga. Go back and listen to Savage Life. Yeah, I, ain't, no nigga, ain't no nigga rocked it like that nigga during that time. Nah, that whole CD. And I'm telling you something. Boosie had to come on with it. Webby was eating on that thing. Man, yeah. And Webby you remember pop that? First. Webby popped first. He popped first, but I'm just saying, Boosie, everybody was like, well, I listened to Boosie first because Boosie was PMC. Pim, I'm a PMC fan, so Boosie was really birthed by PMC. You know, like that was who brought him out. That was his guy. See, I ain't know that. Yeah. See, I ain't know yeah, that. You got, I mean, yeah. When I was younger, I was just already listening to Boosie. Nuh-uh. Boosie came through. I ain't know. I know more about Boosie than PMC. I ain't yeah, well, I'm you. telling you, PMC brought but, Boosie yeah. out. Okay. For and sure. He'll tell you that. And he didn't want to made him good, made him. But still, when he brought him out, then they went and got Webby. Yeah. That was still Pimp C. Okay. And uh, what was the name of that? If they was out of Baton Rouge, but they was linked with Pimp C. Okay. That's how all that started. You can look it up. Right, I'm I know, I know what you're nigga. talking about. I know what you're talking uh, about, for sure. But anyway, they'll tell you that. And the thing I can tell you is, when Webby came, my nigga, that like that and all that and doing what he <laughs> was doing, yeah. it wasn't nobody else touching it. And that's why, I'm going to tell you something about me. I don't care. New York, shout out to my niggas in New York. I love you niggas, but I'm from the South. So when I listen to that music, I don't lie about the music. Like I, I'm from I'm from the south. I I would never be like you said. Chance is cool, but it's not gonna ever affect me. Like the people who sound like me and from my culture, it's gonna be hard for me to flip over like that. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, nah, for sure. I, I, I can't lie to myself, like and be like, yeah, 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 yeah. They, it's hard. Yeah, Jay hard. Yeah, Kanye hard. They hard, but it ain't like Webby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know y'all don't want to hear that. <laughs> Man, I don't personally listen to Jay Z. But, my but did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Think about what I just said. I know I don't want to hear Jay Z. Okay, put on the same music in that era against what Webby done, and during the time of Savage Life. And you think Webby had the best project out of the whole time? Hell yeah! What year that came out? Two thousand five. Uh, yeah, it would have been by two thousand and five, two thousand four. Who oh, you like? Who you got? Wayne. Wayne was different. Wayne was Wayne the best had started going commercial, my time. nigga. He was he was commercial, my man, nigga. Wayne was still he was not tapes. like that first. In 2005? 2005, he was kind of. Nah. He bro, got that Wayne skateboard the, yet? No. Wayne okay, when he got, got that damn skateboard, he had the left us. I was in high school, like junior year in high okay. school. But I just. Senior, uh, I think Webbers was more underground, grimy. 
different. Webby was more street. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's street. what I'm talking so about. Bad. Well, Wayne just had the, like, I don't know what it was, bro. Wayne just had it. Wayne was on everybody damn feature. He would help everybody. That's what made him the best. He worked harder than everybody. Right. And that's what made him the best. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't argue with work. But you can't really, you can't just really say uh, Wayne without Birdman. Birdman's the machine behind it. Him and him and him and him and Slim. Him and uh, uh, Slim. I, I agree. Did you hear what I just said? I agree. The <laughs> business <laughs> part, you cannot do it without well, who the kept business. Afloat. You yeah, can't no way, not, listen. Yeah, I feel like they, it's, it's you can't calm, do man. it without the business behind it. You're right. You can all that does not happen so without if he the had, business. If Wayne had no talent. Do you think it would be the same? No, it would. It would. It, it Wayne's talent is what made it just epitomized. It made it go further than anything. But without that business brand behind it, behind Drake too, behind all they do, you got to have the business part. You a business head. You know this. Man, I understand that. <laughs> you can't do it without that. You I, can take some little dude. He like get the camera. I'm with uh uh you know Dallas Global. He not gonna be like you because of what you know. And you how, can be talented, just, but don't if you don't have the strategy you behind have the, the talent. Right. You right. The strategy is right. what it's serious, pushes you. Bro. Is what you know. Everybody will see, people will see you and love what you do, but you need to get everybody to see you. You know what I mean? It's strategy is what makes that happen. Yeah. But but you 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 know this you're a businessman I know that about you I'm watching you bro <laughs> the thing I I can say about about people like you you wouldn't be in in a game like that for three years without you know longevity says a lot when you're able to hold something together I've been had this business for over 14 years here it, it it's a it's a mind it, it's easy after a while the wheels get to rolling but it's still business and you're always looking at ways to make it better right Thanks. so that's that's what I see. So when when I think about you, when you me you were talking, I'm thinking of the states. I'm thinking it's going because you can help more people. That's the way I look at it. It may sound crazy to you. Nah, nah, nah. I'm definitely on that. I've you see what I'm saying? Most. I've been traveling this yeah. year. And I, I mean, travel a lot. So Where's the furthest you've traveled? Uh, I for the live, business. For business, as of Florida, I've been going to Florida. You like Florida? I, lo I, I love Florida. I got, I got something I got to talk to you about when we Get off of here too. Okay, cool. I ain't gonna say it online, but I got something coming up. I'm gonna need your help on. Sure. Okay. But I, I love Florida, man. But I didn't live everywhere. I lived in Pittsburgh. I lived in, in Pittsburgh. Ohio. That's where your boy Jay Cruz when he came on here, he was from Pittsburgh. You, you know what? <laughs> you probably about right. No, he is. He talked like I remember, that too. I remember. I think I remember him hearing his voice out there. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, you know he talked saying? about that. But and you don't have a Louisiana accent. I've been at here all. for a while. Yeah, I've been okay. here for a while. Like, been here since Katrina. Yeah, my people be saying, yeah, my people be saying, uh, I'm from you Texas. Dallas, yeah. nigga. That's my nigga, <laughs> man. Shoot, shout out Terry Blue from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> now, you rep us right, though. I, I appreciate you for, oh, for sure. helping the city, man. What you're doing is helping create waves and vibes, and it helps the whole 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 situation, you know? For sure. So, uh, any more questions for my brother, Mr. Blue, Mr. Terry Blue? One more question. Out of um, all the interviews that you've ever done, is there any interview that you can say that surprised you because of what the person dropped on you? Like what they said? Not really, boy. Beats, he do this. Nah, it's a lot of interviews I had like that. Charleston, for sure. Because everybody was telling me not to interview Charleston. That was crazy. Like, I hit my homeboy, I said, because look, we just start seeing this video. I said, hey, bro, I'm going to interview him. And he was like, I don't know if you get it. I don't know if you should go. I was like, man, I'm going to interview him. And Char I talked to Charles for like four hours that day. Like he came in the studio. I talked to Charles for a long time, and I fuck with Charleston for sure. Like he keep it real. But uh, I had another one with Chris Chris Johnson. Okay, he, he uh like he did uh he a business owner. He did. I met him in the club randomly, and he gave me a lot of game in that interview. And that was wow. like one of my favorite interviews to this day. You know, yeah. we mm -hmm. definitely need to get get another one in. But uh, like he he did the clubs, you know, he does the restaurants and stuff. So yeah, I'll just this guy named this guy named uh, like I say the, the Charleston White thing is, uh, I, I would say that's one of my best interviews too. You think so? The one I like the most. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's my guy, man. I gotta get into. But I got some. Charleston I got White like interviews. what's the name like uh, um, KLC. KLC, the, uh, the beat maker. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I did him. I liked him. His vibe was great, and he talked about all them stories. Okay, um, that was a good one. And and Shannon Briggs, the two-time heavyweight champion. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, I do. I Man, be, you got some heavy interviews. Nah, yeah, yeah, but I'm old. Yeah, oh, yeah, they gonna rock with the old <laughs> nigga that's old like them. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah, else was old, it? Man. You like um Sean Cobb was deep. I loved his because he was genuine. He got a good heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got good heart. Y'all good people, man. Only thing, you know, I get to asking why, you know, do you feel like you the one caused this and that? And that 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 kind of cause you be in a lot of stuff when you y'all be in the somebody could get killed right after they be off your show or something. Man, facts. And that's what I try to stay away from. I don't like that. Man, it's bro, this weekend in Dallas has been so crazy. It was a lot and of I'm shooting hearing, too. And I'm, I'm hearing about all this stuff that's happening. And I be knowing all these people. Like I really be knowing them. So it be like, damn, like certain stuff I don't even want to post because like it a lot of people be having so much going on. Like I could run into somebody today. I know you in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I can't even post that I see you here. Cause I don't know what you got going, going on, on in the street. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Cause it could happen to you just because I know people watch exactly. me. Exactly. So you know I'm saying it, you, you you be. That's why I, I mean even Sean said like when I come over here, if it feels safe, if it feels cool to be here. Cause we we treat our we we y'all special to us. So we don't. I, that's why I don't invite certain people because the people I bring, I want them to feel like it's it's a. Uh, it's dope. Like, well, when people hear that or feel like this is the Grove, they think something <laughs> else. You yeah. know what I mean? But we be chilling. Yeah, yeah. It ain't say the Grove. It said uh, Bow Springs. Bow Springs. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I keep hearing, where is Bow Springs at? <laughs> you know, but it, it's cool. We done serviced cool. a lot of people, man, in this store, man. A lot of people been here. That's and that's the up. good part. And we glad you came, man. No, we I love you, bro. It. I and we know you, 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 you now, we, you, you respect it. We're respected by us. And if you ever need me, I'm going to pull up to you. That, that's what, see, a lot of people come here like we've had, like the top off all, all them people. They're like, man, how come one of them asks, well, I don't know you. I'm like, dude, I don't move like that. We different. <laughs> we move, we, we got our own thing going. So right. we ain't to be seen of it. We ain't worry about all of what's going on in the city like that. We more, when we meet you, it's genuine and it's real. So when we reach out to you, be like, okay, yeah, because they it's it's one hundred. Whatever they doing is respect, you know. For sure, for sure. Now when uh your son reached out to me, I had told Big D, I was like, yeah, I seen you, boss. He was like, yeah, man, do it, bro, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he know I we said, yeah, we, man, we, we said, love I hard. Said, man. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, said, yeah, yeah. It, but you know, if we just don't we don't we don't invite everybody. My son did that. He know how I am because he bring me a lot of people too, and I'd be like, uh, uh-uh. uh, <laughs> no <laughs> sir, <laughs> don't. So what, how I make the cut? It's you just seem like a uh, like you trying to do the right thing. When I looked at your interview, it, it, it's not like you really like you out here trying to make people get in the crosses and stuff like that. Right. I look at that, right? Because I'm trying to bring the city. How you together, feel about right? that being like in the media? Do you feel like we need to stop that in black media? I don't think it stops. I think it's the way you do it. I don't want. I, I won't say it. somebody got to do it, bro. Facts. You don't have to be the one to do it. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't gonna. You be see what I'm saying? It. But somebody got to do it. Thanks. So I just thank God that I don't have to be the one to do it. We interview people from the heart, right? Mm-hmm. We want to help people. We believe in God. We older, so we want to have be like a big brother. Like you come to us, it's, it's love. Now, you can pick to do the other part. Now, I do say things about things that certain people probably wouldn't speak on. Because I ain't, I, I, yeah, nigga, if I want to know, I'm going to ask you. You facts. know what I'm saying? But... Facts. I, I, a lot of stuff I don't care to know we, as well. Facts. It's so that shit get too deep. Bro. It, get like, too it deep. ain't my business. Like, no. You know? Or it the- might cause too much controversy, so you just leave it alone. But at the same time, we'll talk about, even like when we had musicians come on, we asked them about putting positivity in your music because there's so much negative going on out here, and there's a lot of Facts. younger people who are listening to these things and taking it as real. So, you know, this is what I want to do. This is, I'm going to be bad. I'm going, they try to live this life like a celebrity, but they really, it's Thanks. just fumes. Thanks. It's, it's man, fake. Pe- people need real role models, man. Exactly. They ain't got no role models these days. I did a podcast yesterday and, uh, shout out to, uh, man, I forget her name, 22 bands. Uh, sh- sh- damn. <laughs> 22 <laughs> bands. 22 bands. That's her Instagram name. But her, uh, her podcast is really dope. It's uh, So let, let's talk about it or let me talk about it. Mm-hmm. And she was basically saying. My daughter tried to name this. Let me talk. Let's talk about it. Oh, yeah. yeah and I didn't, I didn't do it. I'm glad y'all did it. But I did it. do it. I did it on some of my skits. I'll put let's talk about it. Okay. Like on the flyer, it says let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> say it. But we won't. We won't we, it was going to be the name. And my daughter wanted to do the whole. The name is yeah. that. It wasn't like, I think it was at first, but then I went with Boss Talk 101 because bosses talk over here. Yeah, nah, fake. Big Boss Talk. <laughs> That's Big it. Boss talk. Yeah, man. But, but yeah, uh, yeah, she was basically saying like that the internet is full of 
so so much negativity mm -hmm. and yeah. these kids are watching this and yeah. they thinking this is was real. Yeah. So it needs to be people putting out Balance, real. Right. Yeah, people are putting out real or, or just, you know, how y'all saying, just pouring it out so that people can, you know what I'm saying, receive it. Because you never know what people going through. I don't want to stop. Let me let me ask you this. That real tune guy, the one that I seen you doing an interview with. Yeah. What you guys still rocking out like uh, that? No, nah, I don't be talking to him like that. Like y'all, y'all, y'all. He, he's a little different. Okay, yeah. it's not. I'm not. I, I I seen the way they're doing it. He's more like inviting people to calls and they talking and and you see them. Uh, okay, and the reason his name pops for me is because of Trill Talk No Pill Talk mm. and he had got into it with Rainwater over the East Texas rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that East Texas thing is dear to me because I'm from East Texas. Okay, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It so, makes sense. So yeah. he was like, no, it makes sense. He talks yeah. them together. Yeah, because yeah, Trill Talk, yeah. Trill yeah, yeah, Talk, because yeah. I showed them a lot of love. Yeah, nah, CCO P, P, I seen the, all the people that been on here. What's crazy about that's my CCO people. P been on here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, okay, shout out BZ TV. BZ TV be up on all the new Rappers yeah, first. yeah. See, BZ was See, telling me about Seiko P like maybe a month, like yeah, right Seiko before I went to Atlanta, me. and he just like now. No, Seiko calls me like before when he doing his show. He just went on Gen that Genius, uh, yeah, Genius Rap. Yeah, he yeah, just was on there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Seiko is a good dude. And He's a really cool. So dude. when that happened, and when old boy was like, I don't know, I'm no country rappers, and that's what Rain said. I was like, Wow, whoa, now. You know, whoa, hold up. Yeah. And then I knew Trill was going to say something because he passionate about right, right. our he people, not, man. Not lie. He put putting on for East yeah, Texas. Yeah, because that's where he's from. Texas. You know what I'm saying? He put it on for East Texas. So, for sure. what did you think about his list? Because you made it. His, uh, uh, yeah. I don't think You're nah, number I think, two on the list. I think I, bro, I don't think that list was too accurate. I ain't going to lie. Well, <laughs> I, I don't even know. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Me being on the list, I don't look at things like y'all. Yeah. First of all, I look at my visuals and the way my setup is, and I'm like, I don't care about what they doing. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. no disrespect to it. It's all different lanes. I'm a podcast, yeah, so I ain't tripping on all what. I don't even care about no controversy. Facts. I just care about making sure that I can talk to my brother. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> see, it was. I don't think nothing was wrong with the list, but people get like, like, see me. It's been plenty of lists that I ain't feel like was accurate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I just say, hey, I don't feel like it's accurate and move on with my day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because your list, at the end of the day, like. It's your list, your opinion, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, what that, that come on, bro. Like, I'm living my life every Exactly. Day. It's not You know what I'm saying? Anything. So, like, whatever, however you feel about my brand or where you think it don't mean nothing to me because I know what it is. You know what do, I'm saying? Do but, you not show love these Texas uh, uh, artists? Like, yeah, I do. I be, uh, and you from Louisiana, so I dare you to get on my platform. <laughs> and that, nah, <laughs> nah. I didn't post it. Uh, Trill Talk didn't put me on some, okay. some, some female. Uh, I forget her name, but Smitty? I posted her. I, I like Smoothie. I like Smoothie, Smoothie is my partner. Smoothie. I like Smoothie too. hard. I like uh, uh, she got a song with uh, Lil Ronnie Mother F. Journey. 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 Yeah. yeah, I like her. She dope. Yeah. I like her. Uh, but but. How could I like Mo Three was going down there a lot? Yeah, he showed love down there. Man, Rain just be talking sometimes, bro. Y'all gotta stop. Taking but no, no, everything. no, no. I'm talking about far as not just Mo Three, but Puka Lee, all the artists from Dallas. Man, that's you go to that <coughs> what market, I'm saying. That's one of the first zero you go to zero. Uh, all of these different people go to East Texas, right. bro. See, Lil Ronnie broke down. Man, we was backside to Lil Ronnie Mother F again. He that's was, my boy, he was right? Just there. Breaking down like how the Texas rap scene works. Mm -hmm. He say you pop. And the first place you gonna go is East Texas. The first people that's go book you is East Texas. Mm -hmm. You're not hot until you go that way, and then it spreads throughout Texas. And he, you know, so I, I know what's going me. on. I know okay. what's going on, but at the same time, bro, like I don't know. I ain't catch everything rain. So I seen Trill talk go off. I just was <laughs> like, damn, you know. But every like rain, just everything he says, it just get under people's skin. I don't know. Yeah, I, I not me, but. <laughs> I mean, I just basically see him react or some uh, people react around here, and I be like, oh, okay. Well, man, don't react over that. I call and say stuff like yeah. that. But I people say things to spike something. That's really what they do. But I always tell them don't react. If if you ever get a call from me, it's going to be like, hey, man, don't, don't sweat that. I can tell you stories about people you would not. You'd be amazed at the people that I've called. To and, just say cheers. And they big, yeah. Like, it ain't man, worth like, it. Bro, I mean, people just try to get under your skin, though. Like, people will pick with you and mm -hmm. pick with you. To and get pick a reaction. Until oh, yeah. you, you, you know what I'm saying, spaz. But 
Okay, if we ask you to come back on the show, you gonna come back and check us out again? I definitely will. Man, you home now. We we gonna need you because we don't be inviting a lot of people, so we gonna call you back. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? Cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come back though. Now nah, I like it. I, I wish we had more time. Yeah, yeah, honestly. yeah. That's how we we'll do all it again. We hungry. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. Check hey, it, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Boss Talk 101. And, and, and how can they find you on your real page? Oh, on Terry Instagram? Blue, Terry Blue, two E's. You'll find me. Okay, and 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 Dallas and the Dallas Global. And Dallas she Global can find TV. Dallas Global. Dallas Global right? TV. It's Dallas I saw Glo- so many different ones. I was like, it's okay, just which Dallas one is Global TV? We sometimes we be shadow banned, so you might have to type in the whole thing, Dallas Global TV, and we'll pop up. You know, same man, Terry. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. Already, man. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle, man. And we out.